Like so many of you, I am pumped for Battery Investor Day. I can't wait to see the announcements. I'm annoyed that it keeps getting pushed back further and further. I just want an official date already. But what I would love to speculate on in today's video is how Tesla is going to implement this million mile battery we've heard so much about that's supposed to be cheaper to produce, offer better range, less degradation, and basically just revolutionize the battery game for the better to make electric cars not just as much as gas cars, but also cheaper as they're able to scale production like we're hearing so many rumors about going around right now. I'm not here to talk about what they're doing with the next generation battery because I have tried to follow the science videos breaking down the dry electrodes and the Maxwell tech and Jeff Dunn's work and I have come to the conclusion I am not good at explaining it and I don't know how to summarize it in a way that is simple and easy to understand but I do understand business and marketing a little bit better than that. So what I can obviously tell from the get-go is that Tesla Tesla's demand and the amount of cars they get orders for is going to have to drastically change for the better or the worse after Battery Investor Day, depending on what they talk about and how they decide on implementing this battery tech, which is very fascinating to me because this obviously is a still image from Tesla Autonomy Day, where they dove into how they're going to be achieving autonomous driving, robo taxis, and the neural net, and the full self driving computer. It was very educational. Yeah, a little stale, not too flashy of an event where they get into the nitty gritty details, but we desperately need an event like this for the next generation battery tech. And I assume a lot of the questions that are going to come up at this event are, when are these next generation batteries being implemented into your vehicles? Where? Which models? How is this going to impact pricing? Because I know there's a lot of you out there that think after Battery Investor Day, all of the Tesla's prices are just going to drop another five to $10,000, where I think a lot of us realists are assuming, no, I don't think it'll be that easy. Likely the manufacturing costs of the vehicles will go down and Tesla will collect some of that profit because if they drastically lowered the car's price points all at the same time, they would have overwhelming demand and they wouldn't be able to have enough supply for it because these batteries need to be scaled for production first. But at the same time, I don't think it would be good for Tesla sales if they announced the new batteries but said that they weren't implementing them until early next year or something like that. Because if they announced that and said, hey, here's this new battery, you know, it can last over a million miles before you need to service it. It's going to have better range. It's going to be cheaper to produce and result in cheaper cars for everyone, and we'll start installing it in vehicles in January. Then imagine the sales for the rest of 2020. Every headline, every article is going to be saying, hold off on buying a Tesla, okay? Because they're about to get way better, they're about to last way longer, and get way cheaper if you just hold out and wait until 2021. And I don't think Tesla wants that. I think Tesla knows that if they did announce something like that, it would result in everyone holding off on buying a Tesla, which would impact their current revenue, you know, the sales and deliveries of cars in Q3, Q4, that would all tank, I think, in the event that a bunch of people are hearing about this next generation battery pack and it's not being installed yet, but it will be installed soon, whether it's January or a year from now or two years from now. It will make a bunch more people skeptical and just think, you know what, I should wait. I should just not buy a Tesla yet. And obviously, some people will watch my dated videos and be like, okay, I'll just buy it now. You know, the million mile battery would not prevent me from buying a Tesla personally because I have bought used cars my entire life and I've still never got any of them to 300,000 miles so I'm not too worried about needing to service my battery every eight years or so that's fine with me but still hearing about the benefits and particularly the cost factor is going to persuade people to not buy so that makes me wonder I know this is kind of out there speculation but could Tesla be implementing the batteries before battery investor day or maybe right on the day that they announce it I think that would be the best way from a marketing standpoint to handle it because then then everyone gets to know what you're doing with the next generation batteries. They see how you're smarter. They see how you're learning. They see how you're scaling battery production and bringing costs down. And then the same day you announce all that, you also cut the prices. You also start implementing the batteries. And now you say any Tesla that was built after this day or after the battery investor day takes place, then you have the million mile battery pack. And that results in the better range and the lower cost. Man, it would be amazing to see what would happen to Tesla's stock price if they decided to do that at the same day. And while a lot of you may think, no, they want to unveil it and they want to let shareholders and investors know what's going on, but there's no way they're going to implement it that fast. Well, keep in mind, it's kind of what they did with Tesla's autonomy day, because at this event where they announced that they had been building their own full self-driving computer that's cheaper to make and way better than the NVIDIA processors they were using before, once they announced that, they also said this full self-driving computer has been installed in every Tesla for the past month. Every single car out of the factory has the hardware equipped 
shipped and everyone who bought full self-driving will be getting the full self-driving computer upgrade for free. So it wasn't really like a predetermined announcement. I mean, maybe if you consider robo taxis to be the announcement, yeah, robo taxis were not necessarily ready, but they did have full self-driving prototypes that they let investors write in to see how the software and the programming is getting better. But when it came to the actual hardware, that technology was ready once they announced it at this event. Wouldn't it make sense to also do that at Battery Investor Day? Be like, oh yeah, by the way, this new battery chemistry, we've been installing it in our cars for the past couple weeks. So anyone who bought a Tesla recently, you have the million mile battery pack. And then, you know, there's gonna be tons of videos explaining how you tell if you got the million mile battery or not. But in my opinion, that would be the smart way to do it. But at the same time, I know that's kind of a huge secret that would be hard to keep on the DL because people do teardowns and people look at how the battery packs are manufactured. So it's very possible that we would know if this was happening beforehand, which is why as much as I want that to be the case, it probably isn't. So I'm still holding out hope that the reason Battery Investor Day keeps getting delayed and pushed back is that the timing of all this is key. You know, what Tesla is planning, lots of videos are diving into the science of it. Lots of channels are explaining how they're doing it. And I think most of them are right between scaling production, lowering the price of the battery packs. All of it sounds totally believable, but the precise moment Tesla decides to announce this to everyone, not just investors, but I'm sure they will be live streaming it too. That is a very key point for them because it could drastically tank their sales if they tell people that the batteries aren't being implemented yet, or their sales could skyrocket if this was just one big advertisement that said, hey, all this new battery technology, it's being installed now, it's happening starting today. And maybe at the Battery Investor Day event, that's when prices get cut a little bit, and maybe Tesla will explain that the prices aren't going to drastically fall off at once, but maybe once a quarter or once every couple of months, they'll lower it by a grand. And it would be really nice if the first price cut we got recently was just the first foreshadow of that. Maybe, you know, already the next generation batteries are being implemented and over time they're just slowly going to bring the price down consistently, but slowly. That way they can scale production and they don't have to worry about being overwhelmed with demand and having to push back deliveries super far because it would require a whole lot of battery packs if they just dropped five to ten grand off the Model 3 at once. I don't think they're going to do that, but I'm very curious to hear how you guys think they're going to be implementing the one million mile battery. Do you think they're going to do it right at Battery Investor Day or is it going to be announced and not implemented until 2021, which again would in the short term really impact their sales. And I think a lot of people would hold off on buying. Feel free to hit me up over on Twitter, join my Discord, and we can chat more about it there. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have an excellent rest of your day. Take care.